Hello there, this is going to be one of my serious videos and I'm going to have to say a couple of things before I start. Number one, I'm not a lawyer so I can't give legal advice and number two, I'm not a member of YouTube staff so nothing I say is official YouTube policy. Uh, this is simply a video that I'm making uh, in the hope that it might help a few people but it's not official advice at all. So with that, let's press on. Now, a little while back I made a video about the new uh, YouTube upload interface which some people found useful. But a lot of people have been since then asking me questions that I can't actually officially answer. And a lot of the questions have been about monetizing videos and how to do it uh, because an awful lot of people have found that their videos are not being accepted for monetization. Now, I suspect that the most important reason for this is that since YouTube has opened up the monetization process to a lot more people uh, and made it a lot more streamlined, they're having to be extremely strict about it. One of the things that they want to avoid is getting themselves into a situation where they might be sued, but also they want to avoid getting you into a situation where you might be sued. This means that YouTube is going to err on the side of caution and they're going to be incredibly, incredibly strict about it. Okay, so let's start with videos containing music and particularly Kevin MacLeod's music from Incompetech.com. Uh, Kevin MacLeod, of course, is, uh, has been the savior of many a YouTube video in the past and he's very well known and his music is very popular and very widely used. Uh, Kevin releases his music under the Creative Commons Attribution License and that means that as long as you uh, credit him, you can use his music for any reason you like, including commercial use. So that ought to be clear. The question is, how do you convince YouTube that this is the case, that the music that you have used in your video is by Kevin MacLeod and that it is covered by this license? I do not recommend giving the ISRC number. Um, if you do that, it seems that YouTube automatically assumes that it's a commercial piece of music for which royalties are due. And of course, with Kevin MacLeod's music, that's actually not the case. Uh, this will give you all sorts of problems, uh, the least of which will be the fact that your videos will be blocked from Germany for complicated licensing reasons. So don't give the ISRC number. What you can do with the ISRC number is to put it into Kevin MacLeod's own search engine and that should give you a page containing only that particular piece of music and you can use that link to send to YouTube to say this is the piece of music that I've been using. Helpfully, that page will also have the Creative Commons license at the bottom of it, so that ought to be clear. In addition, I suggest that you also give time codes, say to YouTube, the music begins at such and such a time and finishes at such and such a time, and that ought to cover all of your bases. Kevin MacLeod is not the only person uh, distributing music in this way, there are others. And um, you may find that you'll need different links for them. For example, you might possibly need a download link plus a link to the page where you found the download link plus another link to the page with the Creative Commons license on it. One mistake that people make uh, is to link to the Creative Commons license on the Creative Commons page itself. All that does is to say to YouTube, there is such a thing as a Creative Commons license. It doesn't prove to YouTube that that license applies to the music that you've used. What you need to do is to find a page on the artist site itself saying, this music is released under Creative Commons attribution. Also remember that this does not simply apply to music, it applies to absolutely everything. Video clips, photographs, graphics, sound effects, everything. If possible, you need to account for every last second in your video. This won't guarantee success, but uh, hopefully it'll make it slightly more likely. Uh, one problem that I really have no answer for at all is if you create the content yourself and YouTube doesn't believe you. It would be very, very difficult to, uh, uh, to prove your point and I really don't know how to go about that. Minecraft is a popular video game made by a company called Mojang and Mojang have, as everybody knows, been actively encouraging people to 
to, to, to write plugins for the game and to share screenshots and video gameplays. And what we have been seeing recently is a lot more people saying, YouTube won't let me monetize my Minecraft video. Now, I think the problem here is that Mojang have made a superhuman effort to write their terms of service in plain English, in a language that we can all understand, avoiding all unnecessary legal jargon. In fact, avoiding all legal jargon, which is a good thing. Unfortunately, this has resulted in a terms of service which, to my mind, and remember, I'm not a lawyer, seems to be vague at best. It's not clear what Mojang actually means. So the terms of service contain this sentence. You're free to do whatever you want with screenshots and videos of the game. Which seems fairly clear, but the sentence continues. But don't just rip art resources and pass them around. That's no fun. What does Mojang mean by art resources? What does Mojang mean by rip? And what does Mojang mean by pass around? None of this is defined anywhere. And whereas you or I would say, well, it's pretty clear what Mojang means, a lawyer might not be quite so confident. But where it gets really murky is when you realize that any use of Minecraft is bound not only by the terms of service, but also by the brand guidelines. The brand guidelines cover the Minecraft name itself, the Minecraft brand, which includes things like logos, and what they call Minecraft assets, which they define as code, software, graphics, textures, sound, and audio. It's the graphics, sound, and audio that are relevant to people making Minecraft videos. The brand guidelines do include the following sentence. Feel free to create and share videos, screenshots, machinima, etc. Which seems fairly clear, except that this is in the section headed non-commercial things. And as soon as you monetize a YouTube video, it becomes commercial. Scroll down a bit and you get to a section on commercial things. And this is what would apply to monetized YouTube videos. And there you can read this. We are less relaxed about commercial things. You may not therefore use the Minecraft name in or as the main name or title of commercial things. Now that's kind of qualified a bit, but it appears to be saying that you cannot use the word Minecraft in the title of your video. That's what it appears to be saying. It would seem absurd. It seems that that's, that's, that's not what they mean at all. And I'm, I'm quite sure that isn't what they mean, but that is how the text appears to read. It says you can use the Minecraft name as a secondary title, but what do they mean by a secondary title? And even when you do use it in a secondary title, you're not allowed to use it in a way that is dominant. What do they mean by that? The point here is that it's not up to YouTube to decide what Mojang meant by that. It's for Mojang to decide what they meant by that. And if they don't make it clear, well, it could be a risk allowing people to monetize Minecraft videos. But the real kicker comes a little bit later in the same section. It says this, you may not make any other commercial use of the Minecraft brand or Minecraft assets. Now remember that the Minecraft assets include graphics, sound, and audio, all of which would be in any Minecraft video. Now I know because the CEO of Mojang himself has said this, they're not just happy for people to make Minecraft videos and upload them to YouTube. They are eager for them to do so. It's how they sell the game. The question is, does Mojang allow you to monetize those videos? And that is not clear. So I suspect that until Mojang makes this clear, YouTube is probably going to err on the side of caution and simply not monetize Minecraft videos. But I would stress and remind you that I am not speaking on behalf of YouTube. I've not been authorized to speak on behalf of YouTube. This is just my personal opinion on what I think may be happening. So to sum up, I think that because YouTube is opening up the monetization process to so many people and making it so much more streamlined, they are actually also being extra, extra careful so as not to put YouTube and you, the uploader, into a difficult legal situation. 
So this means that when you monetize a video, you've got to be absolutely certain that you do hold full commercial rights for everything and you've got to be able to prove it to YouTube and you've got to be able to account for every last second in your video. So I have absolutely no idea of knowing just how helpful any of this is, if it is at all helpful, uh, but I sincerely hope that it, it does help a few people and maybe point them in the right direction. Um, this is really all I can think of to say on the subject. And uh, please, please don't keep asking me. This is really all I know. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.